I love a good bar. And I am at a great one right now. This is Spoon Bar at the H2 Hotel in Healdsburg. And I've been coming here for years for their cocktails, of course, but for one cocktail in particular, their take on the traditional dark and stormy. I'm wine expert Leslie Sabraco. I eat and drink for a living, and I'm exploring the Bay Area. So come on and taste this. Nobody really appreciates dark and stormies, and you guys do a, a great sort of take on the traditional dark and stormy. Absolutely. It's kind of the, uh, the lesser known sibling of the Moscow Mule. Being uh, that we're putting our own twist on it, we're foregoing just the uh, you know, traditional pour of Gosling's Black Seal, and we're gonna do an equal parts pour of three different types of rum. So we have a little bit of Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum, Aged in two different types of bourbon right. barrels, so you definitely pick up some of that nice char smoke. For right, sure. and now we've got a, a local Charbet, favorite. Tahitian vanilla, yeah, produced up in uh, Ukiah. Third, we have uh, Bacardi 8 Year as well. So we've measured everything ahead of time, so in here is equal parts of those three rums like we mentioned. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half of this pour, which would be a half ounce of all three types of rum that we mentioned. And this came from the sailors in the 1800s going that, the dark rum gave them the appearance of a dark and stormy cloud, right? Yeah, absolutely. It gave the dark character The to rum it. is your yeah. dark, and the, uh, you know, kind of vigor of the, uh, you know, carbonation of the ginger beer, that's your stormy. That's your stormy. One dash of Angostura bitters there, three quarter ounce of lime juice, and then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of our house-made ginger beer. Oh, not only can you taste this, you can smell this. I have a very high tolerance for intense ginger flavor. Well, that's so. good to hear because we usually dilute it when we serve it as a non-alcoholic because it's pretty intense. Wow! <laughs> that clears your sinuses. That's type. for sure. All right, so we're gonna finish with an ounce and a half of that ginger beer. Add some ice. We're gonna shake and double strain. I'm laying the beat down, feel free to dance. And then we're gonna add ice, garnish with a little lime wheel there, and enjoy. Oh, that's Delicious? Delicious? That is so refreshing. Fill Again, all your you think ginger it loving needs. It, it, I can't even tell you the <laughs> fantasies it's fulfilling right now. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. We've got ginger beer and we've got lime, which are two key ingredients in what else but the Moscow Mule. Right. Uh, so the beauty about this drink um, and these flavors is that they work with just about any spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you throw in vodka, you've got a Moscow Mule. You throw in, you know, an Irish whiskey, you have an Irish Mule. Yeah. And you throw in bourbon, a bit you've of got Virginia, a Kentucky an English mule, right? Yeah, exactly. On and on and right. on and on. Right. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of our vodka there, one dash of uh, Angostura, again the three quarter ounce of lime juice, ginger beer. We choose not to double strain the Moscow Mule, so some of those peppercorns some of that uh, lime zest that's in the mix will come through in the glass and just add some more character for you. And a little bit lighter shake. Ooh, look at the color of that. That's great. If you mm. don't put the bitters, you notice a, a definitely a difference in the color. That is fabulous. <laughs> Cheers to Spoon Bar. Cheers to Alec. And I wish you could taste this. <laughs> yeah. All right, my hands are ready. All right. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dark and stormy. <laughs> Taste This is brought to you by Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna. Great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores.